from Zoyut Snobber in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Laser eye and dirt. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. So they were kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio, and I'm looking at a story here. This comes from the Detroit Free Press. Actually, versions of this story appeared all over the country, but uh, this is the version from the Detroit Free Press. More empirical evidence of what I tell you. As you know, I frequently, as your professor give you anecdotal evidence of the truth. And we like to point out, because it happens often, when empirical evidence comes in that proves what I've been telling you all along. And that's what this is. Here it is. From the Detroit Free Press, Single Guys... Rejoice. A new 30-year study from Michigan State University released Monday suggests that this is a 30-year study. So this is not we polled 103 adults in the metropolitan area. No, no. This is a 30-year study. This study suggests that never married men are quickly becoming as healthy as their married counterparts. Let me repeat. Never married men are quickly becoming as healthy as their married counterparts. However, marriage is still meaningful, the author said. As widowers reported themselves in poorer health than husbands. The gap widened every year. Of course, if you never got married, you'd never be a widower. <laughs> Not to mention the fact you could be married and dump that bitch, then you also would not be a widower. Says here, MSU author, Hui Liu, assistant professor of sociology, said the study shows that promoting marriage for health as a policy may be outdated as other forms of long-term commitment become more common. The study also suggests that widows and widowers need strong reinforcement and community support to help keep themselves mentally and physically healthy. Lou studied more than one million surveys taken by people 25 to 80 years old between 1972 and 2003. Each year, more never married men describe themselves as healthy. A number starting to catch up with married men. For widowers, the gap between their health and the health of married men widened over 30 years. Lou said she thinks there are several reasons. She said people live longer and the marriage duration increases over time. It's more stressful when that long-term companion dies. 
goes on to say here, the survey doesn't consistently distinguish between mental and physical health. So she plans on looking at whether social interactions of the widowed population improve both mental and physical health. Bottom line, telling people to get married because they will be healthier, no longer really true. Might have been true at one time, not true anymore. Why? Well, in my opinion, there's a bunch of reasons. Generally, as a population, we are all healthier. Generally, we work out more. Generally, generally, I think uh, unmarried people eat better, stay in good shape, so they look good and get laid more often. That's generally the case. And as a result, they are generally healthier. That's generally true. Generally. Generally speaking. You said all men are healthy. I heard you said all men. No, I said generally speaking. No, no, I heard it. You said all men. All men are generally... All men, you said it. I heard it. All men. No. I said generally speaking. All men. You said all men. I heard it. So, um, yes, and why are we healthier? Any number of reasons. I think most unmarried guys have learned how to cook. They've learned how to eat. We take some of the time we're not wasting on trying to keep up with the demands of a woman uh, to go to the gym, get out there, move around a bit, work out. I, I do believe that's the case. One less reason to get married. And one, by the way, when I ask people why get married, they keep citing this statistic from decades ago. Married people are healthier. Married men are not substantially healthy, healthier than unmarried men. They're not. The reasons for getting married continue to fall by the wayside. They continue to melt away like, like whipped butter, baby. They just keep melting. There are no good reasons to get married. And this is another one, another fallacy, another old wives' tale, another outdated statistic. The fact is that uh, here it is, Michigan State University, their study over 30 years says that the health of unmarried men or never married men is pretty much catching up now to the health of married men. We do not need a woman to nag us to go to the doctor or nag us to eat well. That's just not the way it is anymore. And this has got to make women feel, uh, you know, a little less secure because, uh, again, another solid reason for men to avoid getting married. What do you think about that? 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I think you're my dad. Really? Really, because... Did I F your mom? I learned, I learned so much from you that I've been getting laid so many times. Is your mom Mexican? <laughs> yes, she is. Yeah? You, I might be your dad. The Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likey Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM is the number. Thank you for tuning in. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. That's the telephone number of the Tom Likas show. Yes, more empirical evidence proving that what your professor tells you is the truth. Never married men are just about as healthy as married men. Not a good enough reason to get married anymore. You'll be healthier. You gotta get married, son. You'll be healthier. <laughs> no, you won't. What I, I, by the way, do they ever factor in the stress, the yelling, the screaming, uh, the making men feel small, the being told you're inadequate all the time? They ever factor that into the health picture? Probably not. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Ricardo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? I'm doing okay. How you been? Everything good? Uh, you just asked me that question, and I answered it already. Uh, well, there, there now you're into the time. Now we're into the time killing phase of the conversation, where you haven't really gathered your thoughts together yet, 
So you're going to continue to ask me the same question six different ways while you get it together. Is that right? No. Well, you said, how am I? And then you said, how am I doing? No, I said, everything is, everything is good. Well, isn't that the same as how am I? Oh, yeah, I guess you can compare it to that. The reason why I was calling is I think you're full of it. How so? How so? I think that Did your wife I tell you to make about... this call? What was that? Did your wife tell you to make this call? No. <laughs> Actually, my wife is working, and I'm taking my day off. I see. From her? From her? Yeah. You're no, there, I'm she's not. You have a day off from her. No. Yeah. No, no. See, and, and like I said, the reason I was calling you, I think, I think you're full of it. Everything that you say about being married, about how people shouldn't get married and all that stuff, I think you're full of it. I think, I think that you're just a show. I think that... Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, people that don't, people that Why do so many people call in here and tell me how happy they are that they took my advice? Because they have no life, that's why. They because have no they have no life, like you have a life. Oh, I don't there you life. are with your wife, heading down to Blockbuster on Friday night for another exciting Friday evening. No, what are we going to no, watch, no, honey? Really. Are we going to watch Click? Are we going to watch Chuck and Larry? Love that Adam Sandler, honey. What would be a better movie to watch? Do you? Well, you know what? Let's rent them both. We don't have to have them back for a week. We'll just rent them both. Does that love being married. Very exciting. No, it's, uh, actually, it's nothing like that. What is I it do, like? I do everything. Everything the same. The medium size, right? Yeah. Every everything the same that uh, a single guy would do. I go out with my friends. I party with my friends. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't care about it. She goes out with her friends. You know, we go out together and, you know, we just do, the, you know, normal stuff that people that they're not married do. So and you, you go out with no, your friends. No Let me understand. You go out with your friends and she goes out with her friends. It sounds a lot like being unmarried. Yeah, basically. But, you know, then why it's, get it's, married I'm if happy. it's the same as being unmarried? No, no, no. But see, I'm happier that I'm married. Why? Because you know what, dude, I don't need to worry about, you know, going out and, and you know, picking up on girls and doing all this stuff. You know, so you you, girl, you like being married me, because it saves, you things. like being married because it saves work for you. No, 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 no. You know what, it saves disease. It's too much, oh, it saves, so in other no, words. It saves disease. And, and I, you know what, the so it has nothing to do with love, it has to do with the fact your wife is like a big human condom. No, you, no, 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 no. You know what, Tom? You always talk about stuff like that, and then when you have nothing left to say, you always go back to the same thing. It's about how much money you make and this. And I that. do. Well, you know what? I Not only do I make a lot of money, but unlike mar money, unlike most married men, I keep it. What was that? I not only make a lot of money, but unlike most married men like yourself, I get to keep it. Oh, no, I, I, keep, I, get, I get to keep my money, too, man. And oh, really? The, the stuff that you talk about women... So you have a prenup, do you? So you let me that. understand something. You have a prenup? What was that? You have a prenuptial agreement? No, I don't. Well, then you don't get to keep it all. Well, who says that I'm going to get divorced? You don't know how <laughs> two people can love each other if for you the you They rarely do anymore, son. Mm, I, I don't know. You know what? I think it also got to do uh, a lot with that, uh, uh, with the way that you were raised. You know, the way oh, that you yes. were brought up. You come yes. from a good family. One out of two people who gets family. married. One out of two people who gets married. They're just stupid. They were raised wrong. Well, I'm not that stupid enough. I'm, I'm very happy with my wife. And you know what? How long have you uh, been married? About, How long have you been married? How long have I been married? Yeah. Uh, three months. Yeah, well, get back to me in a year or two or three, and let's see how happy you are. I can get back to you in ten years, and I can guarantee no, you. Oh, yeah, you can't guarantee Jack. No, yes, I can. I no, can you can't. Jack. You can't. One out of two Tom, marriages into I divorce. Tom, 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 Tom. How come you were married four times and got divorced four times? Because I was an idiot. I, I was an idiot. Because we always hear your side of the story. How come we don't hear your ex-women's uh, side of the story? Again, it doesn't really matter what their side of the story is. It has nothing to do with it. I don't attack my exes on the well, air. And you're a selfish person. I'm a selfish person. How? 
How? Because you don't let somebody out. You just said. What makes uh, you, you think, think they want to? What makes you think they want to come on the air? What made you think my exes want to come on this program? What makes you think they want to be on this program? What makes you think they want to go from being private people uh, to being publicly ridiculed by people who are listening to the radio? No, 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 no. I think that you just chicken out about having them on your show. I think uh, that it would I, to say they are the they are more than welcome to come on this program anytime they like. They don't want to come on this program. And by the way, most of them never came on when I did the show when I was married. You probably fix them up with money. Ah, I paid them off. Yes, but meanwhile, let's talk about you. What do you know about this? You've been married. By the way, you don't want to tell this to people. You've been married three months. You just got back from your honeymoon, for Christ's sake. What do you know about what the kind of stresses that married people have, like when they have babies, which I'm sure you're working on right now? No, actually, we're not. Not yet. No, 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 we're not. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, first of all, I don't. I, you know, I don't just want to bring a baby into this world when you know I can offer. All right, well, you know, well, yeah, but what does your wife think about that? that? Yeah, well, yeah, but then I bet your wife doesn't necessarily feel the same way. No, actually, she's the one that that says that. I see. And your parents, how do they feel about you not having children? Uh, they they don't they could care less. I have fourteen nephews. So. Uh, I see. And what about your wife's family? How do they feel about? It? Well, they want us to have kids, but not yet. They what? They want us to have kids, but not yet. I see. But did have you told them you're never having kids? No, I want to have kids. Oh, well, there you go. So you have no idea what it's like and what that does to a marriage, do you? No, no, not really. But you don't, you don't either, because you don't have any kids. I, I don't have kids because I do know what happens. You know why I know what happens? I was the oldest of four, and I saw what happened in my family every time there was another person added to the crowd. Not the rest of the world. What? That's your family, not the rest of the world. Yeah, well, well, all right, then I, you're telling me that there is no divorce in your family. Uh, there's only been one divorce in my family. Oh, what happened to that person? What happened to that person? Yeah, who raised them? The baby, the, the, the baby had nothing to do with it. Well, it yeah, but they got divorced. Wife, you said wonder. getting divorced has to do with the way you're raised. So who raised that person? Who is that person? Who raised, don't pretend you can't hear, you moron. Who raised the person in your family who got divorced? Why are you insulting who me? Who raised, I, you're not going to get to say another word until you answer this question, so you better listen to it. Who raised the individual in your family who got a divorce? Who raised that person? Who? My parents. Your parents. The same yeah. people, wait, the same people who raised you. Yeah, but who raised the other? Wait, wait, wait. So you just side. said, wait, let's understand. You just said that getting divorced has to do with the way you are raised and use that as a swipe at me. Now we find out the people who raised you also raised someone who got divorced, which says to me that the odds are, based on your own theory that it has to do with who raised you, that you're going to get one too. One out of seven. One out of seven. One out of seven, my ass. The one out of two marriages ends in divorce. That's a fact. Says who? Says the national statistics, the U.S. Census. This well, is yeah, a, this information is available are, online, you moron. It's very commonly known, huh? That's, that's, those are the those are the morons that they listen to you that they have. No, life, no, they it is not. Oh, 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 really? So, 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 so your brother is that your brother who got a divorce? Is that your which? Is that your brother who got a divorce? Huh? Is that your brother who or your sister who got a divorce in your family? My brother. Yeah, is he a listener? Uh, he was for a while, but actually he's the one that convinced me that you're full of it. That he just a show. Oh, but he got a divorce, didn't he? There's just a show. But he got a divorce, didn't he? But he got a divorce, didn't he? You're just jealous. You're just jealous. You are just jealous that I make so much money I can buy and sell you. Uh, I, I, you're just a little blip on my radar screen. You go back to the same thing. It's always true. Let's get Robert on the air here. Robert, do you hear what Retardo is saying here? Yes, I do, and I totally disagree with this guy. Tell him. All right. Hey, dude, um, I want to tell you, Tom Likas saved my life. I was about to get married, but I listened to his radio show. I mean, it saved my life. There's two types of people in the world that are going to happen. There's going to be the rich and wealthy, and there's going to be the poor and married. You have to decide which one you want to be in. I'm going to be the rich guy, dude. You get divorced. 
That's no, why I'm we're going to be rich. Why do you think that I'm going to get divorced? Why? Why? Because yeah. your wife or well, your wife is going to take all your money. Honey, do this. Honey, do that. Will you do this? Will you do that? I need a house. I need a car. Nah, nah. You need the house. You need the car. You need the property. You need the business, not her. With every single business, every single everything else, you get the woman. You have many women and not just one. Why would you want to settle for only one? Why? Oh, hold on a second, okay? What's the difference between one woman and, and the other one? In bed. They both look the same down there. They both have two pairs of boobs. So what, what's the big difference? They both yell. You're gonna get you're gonna get tired of going to bed with the same person every single night. Me right I'm now. I'm tired of going to bed with the same person every night. Go to bed with the same person every night. Oh, what what what's the difference between one person and the other one? You know what, dude? You uh, get involved with some lady, okay, who's uh, crazy or whatever, and you know what? She becomes a stalker to you, and that's it. You're basically screwed too. I I, I didn't catch that. What'd you say? Sorry, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of breaking up. I said you end up with a crazy person sometimes. You know, somebody who's in bed, or somebody who you picked up at a bar, and you don't know what kind of disease you might have. You know what? Yeah, you put on a condom, but you know what? Do my uncle pick, picking up girls at a bar wearing condoms died of HIV with a condom. Uh, for well, for your uncle, I am sorry, but dude, you just don't want to. You want to get divorced as soon as possible. No, no I, I don't say. want to get divorced. You know what, dude? I'm a, I'm a very happy person, and and you know I, I wish that everybody was as happy as I am right now. And I think that Tom Likas, I think that Tom Likas, I admire his show, you know, and I listen to it because I just basically laugh at the stupid people who have no personality who need to call him like you, so they can have like no, you. No, 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 no. Oh, no, not like you. you so no. I can put out my word just like you do it every day. But instead, I, I don't see. make millions on it. Robert, thank you. Uh, let me get Eddie on here, Eddie. What do you want to say to Ritardo? Hi, Ritardo. I mean, Ricardo. I'm sorry. Hi, this is Edward. I think the problem with you is I think maybe you're happily married because maybe you're unattractive and you ha have a hot wife. No, you know what, dude? I am six. Uh, I'm uh, uh, 5'10", very, very attractive, and I can have any woman I want just like that, dude. Well, I can get on the radio and say the same thing. You know, I'm very attractive, and I drive a Lamborghini, and I have a checking accounts here and there and some money here, and I'm a big liar, you know, until you see me. But, I, you know, I was in your situation about six years ago. I started listening to Tom Lankas about seven years ago, and I uh, ended up leaving my ex-wife because she became everything that he said a woman becomes, you know, uh, possessive. My friends stopped coming around. Uh, she had five children that I did not know about in the 11 years that we were married. They were with the uh, fathers, uh, three girls from one marriage, two kids from another marriage. She was a grandmother. She was 14 years older than me when I married her, and I didn't know. So women are sneaky, they're conniving, and they're liars. And I met girls after the divorce that, you know, a month or two go by, and then all of a sudden they say, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, my, my rent is due. I don't have the money. And here they're throwing the money problems to you. You know, that's a little hint to say bye. See you later. But uh, I don't think you're really happily married, or you wouldn't be calling, you know. No, 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 I am married. I just, you know what, I I, I listen to Tom, like, just, you know, uh, for, for a couple of years I've been listening to him. But I just listen to him because I can't believe that there's people out there who actually do what he says because he's an unhappy person. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's got to drag everything down about, about you know, being married and having kids. You know what, dude? Having a family, being married, and having kids is something beautiful, something that, you know, you, you can't, you know, you can't describe it. Well, I, I can't describe it because I'm not a father yet, you know, but I, I, I see my brothers and, you know, most of them, they're all happy except for the one that got divorced. But that's one out of seven brothers that I have that got divorced. Ricardo, listen, let me tell you what I've completed since I've been divorced from this woman. I have my uh, bachelor's degree from USC in classical guitar music. I'm a musician part-time. I have a legal business in, uh, I'm not going to say where. I'm getting another one on Wilshire Boulevard uh, Legal Center. I've done so much more than I have been with her. I have extra money. I couldn't buy nothing while I was with her in the last uh, two years of the marriage. You know, she completely just took my money and, well, not took it, but, you know, it was all about her. You know, forget Edward. You know, forget if he had fuel in his car or if he had clothes or he could buy this, he could buy that. It was all about her. And that's the way the women are here in L.A., you know. I don't spend more than, let's say, 40, 50 bucks on a date. They don't like it too bad, you know. 
But you should yeah, listen yeah, to Mr. Yeah, you, you know, know you should I, listen I, to Mr. Lankis because he is right. He is where where he's at because hey, you know, he's been in marriages before. You know, so so he knows all about women and he's where he's at because you know, hey, he he, he worked hard for it and you know, a lot of people call him up and say, oh, yeah, your money, all you talk about is your money, and this and that. So what? I would talk about my money too if I had it. You know. And and it's, I'm proud of him, and good for him because he is where he is, you know. And if you don't like him, just change the dial. You know, there's other people to listen to. That's all I want to say. Well, thank you for the call, Eddie. I appreciate it. Let me get Jeremy in here. Uh, Jeremy, what did you want to say to Ritardo? Hey, Tom, did you guys leave the uh, blah, 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 I'm a big pussy filter on, man? That's, that's all I hear coming out of this guy's mouth right now, dude. <laughs> On here, man. He is a big know, pussy. We all know the reason this guy got married because he's got no game. This guy couldn't score in a monkey whorehouse with a bag of bananas. Sorry, really? <laughs> you couldn't hear that, Ricardo? Say it again, Jeremy. Man, you got no game, dude. You couldn't score in a monkey whorehouse with a bag of bananas, buddy. <laughs> How do you turn on that joke? Why get married? Because you got no game, dude. I have no game. So dump that bitch, dude. Why buy a car when you can test drive the whole lot for free, man? Do you even... Are you a virgin? No oh, way, dude. Come on. I get more ass than a bicycle seat, dude. Yeah, well, guys ass, probably. Hey, I'm, I'm done with this guy, dude. Take this guy out machine style. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take you both hey, out. Next time, don't say ass. Yeah, say baby. the word. Ah. <laughs> one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Desiree on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Um, <laughs> I was just calling to, I'm not calling to argue. I just wanted to kind of like bring up the perspective of 50% of people get divorced. So what about the 50% of people that stay married? Don't you believe what that, about like, them? I'm not. I just want to like think that maybe maybe fifty. There's some people that are happily married, and there's some people that are happily single. You know. Yeah, but the fact is, uh, for a man, the risk is too high because if a marriage doesn't work out, it's generally the man who has to pay through the nose. I understand, but you know, some people are just happy married. Like the, they, they still does exist. Well, some, some people. people win the lottery too. <laughs> Okay, I but, guess. But I wouldn't bet half of everything I own that I'm going to win. I wouldn't either. I, I but think but that, you don't mean, have to. It's men who have to bet half of everything they own. Women unfair. rarely have to pay through the nose in a divorce. That's unfair. It's true. Maybe. Well, when they it changes, that. when they do something about it, I'll I'll reexamine marriage for men. As the law exists today, and this is where we live. We live in today. It does not make any sense for men to get married. I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily want to get married or not in my lifetime. Well, I that's fine, that but men shouldn't. Somebody, like, their whole life. Like, my mom and dad are not married, but they've been together for 26 years. But, you know, my mom doesn't want to get married to my dad. My dad's proposed multiple times, but they still just don't want to get married. Right. Well, that's and good. Good for him. Like, some people are happy in a relationship, and some people just aren't. And that's just, like, there is hope out there for some people who want to be with someone, and they'll stay with them But forever. it's just not worth the risk for men. It's worth the risk for women. It's worth the risk for the children of adults. But it is not worth the risk for a man. Yeah, I guess. You're right. That, that's all I'm saying. I, I wouldn't tell you not to get married. For women, there's very little to lose. I guess that's true, and that's unfair. Which it's right. You're, it's very unfair for men to for like the, the whole divorce thing. I think women should have to pay alimony too if they have a job. Or, yeah. Well, how I don't think that men should have to pay for their wife to live after they divorce because technically they're not living together and they're not. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like I, that's tr completely unfair. I don't know how to. It's not fair. That's my point. Well, it's not fair, and I just mean like some people are happy with their little, you know, combined bank accounts and whatever. They're peachy, but like some people just are better off single because they're afraid of that, and that's just sad the way the world is. Well, but the way the world is is the way the world is. I, I don't deal in the way the world should be, could be, or would be. I deal in the way it is. Yeah, makes it's me. I'm afraid to get married just because of the fifty percent, you know, statistic. 
I just, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, it's, it's, you know, I mean, I'm more than likely going to be in that statistic. You know, I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I understand. And Desiree, I thank you for the call. Top, 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 top. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Screw these women that want to take away what we have, you know? Screw them, Tom. That's right. Screw them. For God's sake, screw them. It's the Tom Likas Show. Right! Wow! From Hollywood. My name is Tom Likas. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. The scientific evidence is in. Never married men are pretty much as healthy as married men. That's an old wives' tale. It's old news. The idea that you're healthier if you get married. It's just not true. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Liz on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Liz. How are you doing today? Great. I'm just calling to agree with you 110% that people need to know and get married for the right reasons. They need to know who they're marrying. They need to know what they're getting into when they get into it. And there are far too many people out there that just get married because they think it'll make their lives better, and it doesn't. <laughs> That's right. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, hello? I'm here. Oh, you're breaking up. My uh, my boyfriend was married, um, and he was divorced about a year before I met him. Um, he was in the Marines, and he was serving, and he got married three months after he met his ex-wife. They had three kids, and she started cheating on him. And he got a divorce, um, and we've been dealing with all that ever since. We now have custody of the three kids. They came to live with us a month ago. But we're always going to have to deal with her, you know. And well, wh and don't you think that could be a problem as time goes on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We so know it's going to be a problem. She got a restraining order against him when she found out I moved in with him. So why did you sign up for such an assignment? Um, because, because I, I love him. The kids. <laughs> well, she, she took the kids away when he, she realized he was dating someone else. So we didn't have them there throughout the first six or eight months we were dating. She took them away. Uh, you know, your life has now become this big soap opera. Yeah. And uh, I'm amazed that you can't see how this could be a real problem as time goes on. Oh, we know it can be a real no, no, problem. I'm, no, no, let's not talk about we, because there's only one person on the phone. I'm exactly. talking to you. <laughs> you. Oh, I know that there's you are not a, a You are not a unit. You are you. You're, you're an individual. Yes, sir. And you have signed up for something that uh, down the line, you're not going to be happy. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, I, I quit my job so I could stay home with the kids during the summer and stuff. You quit and your job so you could stay home with her kids? Yeah. Yeah, because she's, she's not giving us any child support. and We're not getting any help from the courts up in Humboldt County at all. Why did you volunteer for this assignment? Because I love him. Because I love him. No. But we're not married, you know, and we're not going to get married until we know this is something that we can deal with. He's but why would you even? Why would you even want? Why couldn't you just have the, your boyfriend as a friend? He's a friend. He's a single dad. He's got kids. He's got problems with his ex. Why do you have to move in with a guy like that or complicate your life like this? Um. Because, like, even though my life's complicated now, it was a lot more complicated before I met him. How so? Um, it just, I guess, it's, I was in college at the time. I was making bad decisions. I was doing things that weren't good for me. Like what? And, um, I was drinking a lot. So I you needed a boyfriend to stop drinking? No, no, I needed someone You were drinking that because nobody loved you? No, I, I was in college, and that's, you know, what you do. You go out, and you, you do stuff, and... Well, people do that in college. Huh? People do that in college. Yep, and I, you know, I was making my life... I had a roommate that was no good. I was making bad choices, and this was someone that stood by me. And so you have a daddy complex? Time. Where's your dad? 
my dad's here in Hollywood with us. <laughs> He's living with you? No, no, no. But he lives he lives in uh, Valencia, and he works with my boyfriend. He got my boyfriend a job down here so we could move away from Humboldt County and get away from that situation. And it has helped. It has gotten a little better, but, you know. We... And what were you doing in Humboldt County? Um, I was going to school because I wanted to be a teacher. And what happened to that? Um, I decided I wanted to be a massage therapist instead. So I went to school for that. I finished that, and I was working at spas doing spa treatments. And then um, he filed for visitation for his kids because she wouldn't let him visit So you them. have this. Let's, let's review. You had an aimless, completely unfocused life. Sort of, yeah. And so you decided to take on this mess of a situation. Which yep. over time will make you miserable. But you feel that you're better off because instead of being unfocused and doing all the other stuff, you are now unfocused and taking on this. Well, it's getting, it's always getting better. I mean, what makes you think your judgment suddenly got better uh, because now you're living with a guy who has three kids from another marriage? Well, I started trying to make better, well, trying to make better do you think do you think this wait 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 do you think this is a better decision um well i think in the long run all that really matters is the kids and that they're okay uh, no no that's not true in the long run what matters is that you're okay well we're more okay now than we were before no, well, when they forget, were i don't i don't want to hear the word we for the rest of this conversation i'm not talking about him i don't know him or your kids i only know you we don't get pregnant. We don't have opinions. You I'm talking to. Yes. So let's not talk about what his opinion is. Because okay. the fact is, I'll bet there's some things you don't agree on. Of course. Well, so stop saying we. Okay, Tom. There is no we. There's <laughs> you and him. Okay. So when I ask you your opinion, don't tell me his opinion. Tell me your opinion. Okay. You are. You think you're better off now. You think this was a better decision than the bad decision you were making before, going Definitely. aimlessly through life? Definitely. So you think that getting involved with a guy who has three kids from a previous marriage and custody issues and child support issues and now becoming primarily responsible for three children who are not yours is better than studying to become a massage therapist or a teacher, just wandering through life. You've just continued the wandering through life. That, that's what you've done. That's a good point. But this is just another thing. Well, I tried this. I didn't like it. I tried that. I didn't like it. So I tried this. And just like you thought when you were becoming a massage therapist, you thought that was the best idea ever. <laughs> uh, remember when you went to school to become a teacher? Oh, the best idea ever. And now here's the latest best idea ever. Oh, yeah. And let me ask you another question. You're 24. When were you going to school? Huh? You're 24. When were you going to school? I was going to school in Humboldt County. I went to College of the Redwoods. Uh, and... what, what years did you go? Well, I graduated in 2001. So 2001, 2002, 2004, yeah. And then how old, are you? how old are you? I'm 24. I graduated from high school when I was 17. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was. I got out of school, like, I guess that's not early, but I, my birthday is early in the school year, so I don't turn. So you graduated from college at 20? Uh, 20 or 21. My birthday is in October. All right. And then, and then, so, you went to, then you went to massage therapy school. Yep, and that was a year. And then you started working at that. Yep, I started working at and that. And then, then a guy came in and needed a massage who had three kids. Is that what happened? No, 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 no. I didn't meet him through work or anything. I met him through another friend that introduced us. Oh, really? Well, I'd be sure to thank them. <laughs> but I just, I wanted to call to agree with you because it's so important for people to know who they're getting married to. Yeah, but to. The, darling, you're saying this. But, but you, do you, if, how can you be saying this? Do you know who you're getting married to? You're getting married to somebody who got married too young, had three kids at too young an age, got divorced, 
Okay, and now he's going through the what will be a lifelong fight with the bitch he used to be married to, and he's enjoying you in the battle. Yeah, and, and you takes, and you think that's wonderful. Well, he takes very, 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 very good care of me, and I take care of him, and that's just what we do. And you do. think that him adding all this stress to your life and having you quit your job to take care of these children, you think that's good for you? Well, I actually really. I mean, I, I'm kind of a little bit of one of those stereotypical girls that you talk about, and I'd rather stay home and take care of three kids than work. But these aren't your kids. But they're darling sweethearts anyway. I mean, I still love them like I love him, you know, and sometimes... And now the know, two of you have one job, and you have to support five people with it. Uh, I mean, what does your husband do for a living? He is a carpenter at CBS. He's in a union. I mean, his job, he definitely does not make as much money as you, but, I mean, it's definitely... You know why? Because I also work for CBS, and if they, if they pay me all that money, how are they going to pay him? Exactly, but... Um, I yeah, have no I mean, kids. Job isn't, it's not like we're rolling in gold, but we're definitely, you know, um, not in a bad way either with that, you know. All right. Well, it just sounds like a little slice of heaven. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.